Gallagher here. If you want to grow your channel quick and easy, subscribe and smash that notification bell because I share with you all the tips, tricks, and strategies that I use to grow this dead channel from zero to thousands of subscribers and became a YouTube partner in just a matter of months. My people, in this video, I'm going to revisit a video I did a few weeks ago so I can add a few things to help ensure that YouTubers that do this don't run into some issues. And since we're talking about using YouTube videos to generate income, here's another option for you, one that I actually use, where you use a simple method to rank YouTube videos for high volume keywords that have very low competition. And then you just link those videos to a high converting offer that generates automated income as you can see here in one of my accounts. And this just keeps going on and on and on. So if you're interested in setting up your own income generating in videos like this, I put a link in the description below. But for this video, I wanted to go over a few things with regard to making money without creating your own videos at all. So let's revisit the method real quick. So if you go to channels like these, let's go to find a compilation. So like top five roller coasters or whatever. Um, so these type of channels, there's a lot of them. And so here's Trend Central, this one video, 15 million views. Um, and we go to Social Blade. And so on Social Blade, I've uploaded their channel, Trend Central. And you can see here they've got 2.1 million subscribers. But right here, their estimated monthly earnings based on all the views they're getting, which is quite a lot, is anywhere from 5,000 a month to 80,000 a month estimated. So usually it's somewhere in between that. And again, this is just from posting compilation videos. And so in this case, we, you know, we search for roller coaster, top five roller coasters. And you can see we also have, in, in addition to ten, Trend Central, we have top five central, top fives. Um, so there's all sorts of these channels where they just do compilations of other people's videos and they mash them all together. Maybe they put commentary or music over it and they're good to go. Like YouTube's not banning their channel at all. And how I mentioned in the previous video, how they're able to get away from this is through Creative Commons. And what Creative Commons is, it's a, a license that other YouTubers give you to reuse, repost their content. So first let's see what YouTube has to say about Creative Commons. So this is right through support at Google. We all know Google owns YouTube. And this is right there, YouTube answers, YouTube help, Creative Commons. And if you read through this, it's gonna tell you exactly what I said, where by marking your original video with a Creative Commons license, you are granting the entire YouTube community the right to reuse and edit that video. And so how people do this, how they set it for Creative Commons is if you go into your video editor and you go down here to advanced settings and you click on that, and right here under license and rights ownership, you can see it defaults to standard YouTube license. Well, if you click this, it's gonna give you this other option, Creative Commons attribution. So that's exactly what YouTube was talking about. We just looked at where if someone marks their licenses, their video under Creative Commons, they're saying, hey, go ahead and repost this. I'm cool with that. So then all you'd have to do is go to YouTube and let's say we wanted to do a compilation of roller coasters. So you type in roller coaster roller coaster and then under here under filter you click that and then over here under features you click creative commons so youtube is going to eliminate all other videos except for those licensed as creative commons so you can go through here and create a compilation out of all of these videos and make your own video out of it and you should be good to go the problem is some of these youtubers don't actually own the content so you can still earn yourself a copyright strike, which happens. You, PewDiePie has gotten copyright strikes before, so it does happen. It's not necessarily the end of the world, but you don't want to get a bunch of them because then obviously your channel can go away. Here's something, a couple things you can do to help to help prevent this from happening. One, you can look at channels that have been around a lot longer, a long time. So channels with a lot of subscribers. And right now I have vidIQ installed, so it's giving me their subscriber count right here. So what I would do is I'd go through and find, again, a channel with a lot of subscribers because they're more likely to be legit channels and have their own content. So the other thing you can do is actually look at the videos and see if it looks like the person that created the video is the, is the same person that owns the channel. So, you know, if the same people that are in the video or in multiple videos, that's a good indication that, yeah, that's they own this content. 
but even if they're not the original creator, they may be posting it because they got it from someone else that had it listed as Creative Commons. So it's still not a bad thing if you can't determine if that's the original poster of the video. But here's something I would do to help ensure that you're not gonna get hit with a copyright strike. As you start creating these compilation videos, I would keep all the links to the channels and to the videos, I'll put those in the description as a source for all the clips in your compilation video. Then at the very beginning of my video, I would either state verbally or I would have a notice, a written notice, or I would do both. And I would say just at the very beginning of the video, the content in this video was licensed by other YouTubers under Creative Commons. If you own any of the content used in this video and did not agree to share this content under Creative Commons, please contact me. I have also provided a list of source channels below. Thank you. So what you're doing is telling them, hey, I did what I'm supposed to do. I got this video through Creative Commons. The other thing you're doing is, hey, please contact me. You could even add, I will help report this to YouTube with you. And then the other thing you're doing is pointing to the real perpetrator, right? The people that you got it from. So that will make a huge difference. It can really help ensure that you don't get the copyright strike. So I just wanted to point that out because again, it, it, you do stand a risk doing this even though it's protected under Creative Commons because other people are violating the terms of that. You could potentially suffer and I don't want that to happen. So just make sure if you do do this, take every precaution necessary to protect your channel. So I hope that helps you out. I'm gonna wrap this up and I will see you in the next video.